Hello everyone, are you ready for a fucking adventure? We're here, and guess what? We're in the mood for some competition, so Tristan, get your ass over here. By fucking adventure, we of course mean standing in the exact same spot fighting Tristan a hundred times. Oh yeah, just... Over and over again, the answer is how many times can we fight Tristan till people stop watching? <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna put down Jinzo or Flame Dancer because he has dudes that automatically kill him. So let's go with Ancient Char. See, I was right. Igaboon. Remember in Sacred Cars when that guy used Igaboon on us and it caused us hey, the match? I do magic. remember that. That guy was a real asshole. Yeah. Talk about a good Yu-Gi-Oh game. <laughs> the Sacred Cards. <laughs> Quality. Yeah, that one. That That's a great game. It is really funny that a few minor tweaks is enough to make a game worse than the original. Like, they didn't do much to make this game uh, worse. Yeah, it, it is worse, though. Yeah, even with, like, the slight improvements it has, it's still worse. Even your start... Yeah, slight improvements is a good way to put it. Yeah, because it feels like for every step forward, they took a giant-ass step backwards. Especially with, like, the difficulty curve. I actually thought the difficulty curve in, um, Sacred Cards wasn't that bad. Because you had a shop that literally, like, gave you access to every single card that you could ever ask for. So... And the shop in this game sucks. Yeah, there's no denying it. Maybe we'll check to see if he has any new product after. Maybe after you beat Tristan a number of times, he goes like, Oh, you actually deserve to have good cards now. Let me show you the good shit. <laughs> now that you've sufficiently stomped Tristan... Yeah, now that you've used Peacock on Tristan, I feel like you are deserving. Now I know your true skill. Now that's a person I can entrust my precious cards to. Here, a copy of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I taped it back together. <laughs> Do you think uh, Kaiba... No wonder uh, Grandpa's card shop fucking blows. Yeah, because he has like... One of the most rare. Do you think Kaiba still gets a little bit annoyed that? Uh, do you think Kaiba knows that he still has the blue eyes, but it's taped up? So he's constantly <laughs> going like, "He did what?" And then he's like making plans. He's like, "Mokuba, cancel all my appointments. I need to go back. <laughs> I need to make sure that blue eyes is sufficiently damaged that it doesn't register in a dual disc." Yes, not tournament legal. Okay, we got a little bit more. Um. Oh, I think this is the guy everyone's talking about to buy. Uh, if it isn't Claire Knight, I think so. Let me need um. Yeah, because when you summon him, you can use his effect, and then you get Mirage Knight. Yeah, I think he's the dude, right? The thing is, is that I don't know if we can use his effect because it's the second he enters the graveyard, so it's just an automatic. Effect. Whatever, I'm buying him. I can't buy him because I don't have enough money. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is good. I wonder what I need for Black. This is a quality game. Quality. That this game has bad reaction to Samochi. What the hell's wrong with it? Why does? <laughs> what the fuck does it think it's trying to be? Does this have to go with Karibo? It does. Okay. Yeah. So. Before we can actually continue, uh, we need to make sure of one of two things. We need to have our boy um, Revival Jam and Duran Duran back. Because they're apparently extremely important to do the things you want to do. Which is flood the board. So we have no money. Yeah, we have no money. Remember when we started in Sacred Cards and we could immediately just buy like everything? And then money was no... Good times. Now I'm just thinking of a better times. All right, we're, we'll, <laughs> we're working on getting, I guess, Black Knight. But now at least we know that there's a good card in there. Oh, there's the password terminal. Oh, okay. I actually have a password from someone, so let me just quickly go get it. You uh, still have to buy the card after you put the password in. Oh, shit. Well, it doesn't matter. Let me... Ah! My leg fell asleep. <laughs> so I have to reach my phone. Alright, I got this. This is a very trying day. 
Sounds like it. Tough times. Yeah, it's hard times for working in his business. I also think it also sounds like the game is freaking out, so that's a good sign. Then Reshef of Destruction doesn't want itself to be played. No, that's true. That's true. Reshef of Destruction is like, I can't believe you're still playing me. Okay. Let me put yes. Now we enter the 8-digit code. I hope to god that this eventually just fixes itself. I'm gonna guess it's not, though. Probably not. I mean, sometimes it totally does, but other times, like with Dragon Ball, we lose an entire part. But that was also because we were putting YouTube repeater in the background. Yeah, no YouTube videos on this one. Damn shame. There's no, uh... I wish there was, like, a dubbing of the original uh, Season Zero with an awesome theme song. Oh, it's Acid Trap Hole. Okay. It's pretty good. That is good. Now here's the real uh, answer. How much is this shit gonna cost? That's a good question. Oh, this game is... Yeesh. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, you two-timing old fuck. <laughs> you old piece of shit. Trying to act all surprise. Okay, let's see. You know what? To be fair, there is an option to sell cards. So let's see if we can sell off some worthless piece of shit. Uh, let's see, is anything we have even worth selling? That's another- Wow, this is really all the cards I have to my name? <laughs> it's all you've got. Champion of Battle City, it's all you got. The things weren't the same ever since, uh... You know, I didn't want to start from the beginning, but she just said, like, it's only fair if you do. And I said, I don't care about fairness. And she said, <laughs> she said, listen, you're going to have to do this. It's the only way to appease the gods. And I said, I respect your religion. Therefore, I will do what you say. <laughs> I respect your silly beliefs in cards. Exactly. I'm not like Kaiba, your ex, who never believed in anything you said. I don't, I like how Petite Dragon is our most expensive card. At, I think doesn't bode well for us. Meteor Dragon is the second, followed by. I don't. I think it's Star Boy actually. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. All right, so back, back to the Tristan farm. Tristan, where the fuck are you? Get back here. I'm not done with you. This is, uh, yeah, this is the game. This is gonna be our life going forward. It's still eventually there's only, like, three people left watching. I tried to attack with my jar and it didn't work out. Darn, he didn't fall for our masterful eat kaboon. No, he didn't. But maybe he'll fall for this gambit. Let's first of all, let's see if his hand is worth shit. It's not, but there are some cards in there that could beat me, so. Oh, see, the Griggle Gambit added again. Yeah, I am really, like, upset that Griggle is not in our deck. <laughs> He's not a good That's card. Up, right? Hmm? Oh, but it's all right, because Buku is here. boy Griggle. Yeah, boy Grig. The dude who somehow survived every iteration of our deck. Alright. Get ready to feel uh, the burn. There's no book called The Burn, but I'm pretty sure if I pretend like there is, there's a book called The Burn. Damn it, for Fahrenheit 451. I said it too late. Damn it. Damn it. Gojin's a number seven. Maybe you can 
make everything better. Go, Buku. Uh, did I ever tell you Jinzo's number seven looks like he has like really weird hair? I know it's like supposed to be a metal helmet, but I like his funky brain. Yeah, let me see if I can. Yeah, you see how he looks like he actually just kind of has waves. Really... Yeah, a little bit. I'm wondering if that just has to do with the pixelation of this game. <laughs> Maybe that's <laughs> that is not uh, impossible. Yeah, exactly. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pixel mode coming soon. Alright. Buku. Get him again. One of these days, I'm gonna have to figure out, like, I'm gonna have to print out a list of books <laughs> and be like, okay, I got it this time. <laughs> We're ready with our book references. Oh, yeah. Get ready for the Lord of the Kill. It's a Lord of the Rings reference. Now get ready. For Lord of the Dead. Yeah. Lord of the Dead. You're dead, just like that book is. <laughs> because it's a boring as fuck book. Bam! I'm gonna end it on the most controversial note in the world. <laughs> it's really only a controversy to, uh... Oh, wow, we got Fake Trap. A Fake Trap card that is intended to fool the opponent. Nothing happens if it is attacked. Wow. Nice. nice. I mean, it's zero cost, but it's also literally nothing. If you're in the if we're in the mood for competition, Tristan, you have no idea how in the mood I am for some competition. Let's compete. But first of all, we're gonna have to keep on competing next time because we're all at a time. Join us for what I'm gonna call the Tristan arc, where we're gonna do nothing but fight Tristan for like 15 episodes. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.